Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Um, there's some stunning energy moving through at the moment. So I thought I'd just do a quick vid to see what comes through. <laughs> so, oh, gosh. It's just so beautiful. There seems to be a collective heart opening going on. Um, and there's an alignment coming in and it's an alignment to the inner truth it's it has echoes of sedna in it and it's the why of the doing this it's the why of why am i doing this um well how do i know chrissy if it's right or wrong well how does it feel and that's is that seems to be coming into really close alignment so it's moving on the feeling rather than the thinking and the rational mind. Um, and without any ado, we start with the rising. This is the, the active intelligence, the Kundalini, the incorruptible gold of the soul, the incorruptible, coming up to fuse with the egg. So this is the alchemical marriage. And coming in on that seven is the fusing of light into matter. And you'll feel it in your body. Um, it's, it seems to be coming through as a massive heart alignment and opening and it feels amazing. It feels amazing. So I'm going to read a few words from the book. So the seven blessings of Eve speaks of a spiritual gift entering the heart to manifest as a blessing in your life. It speaks to innate talents and abilities which will support your soul into full and glorious manifestation. You have been blessed with a beautiful divine destiny to fulfill. You have natural healing ability. Choose your thoughts and words so they reflect what you truly wish. And here's the alignment to the truth. I think I said discernment, didn't I, on the last video. Discernment to liberation. So it's liberating ourselves from the should, from the obedience. And to allow that in a voice to speak. So then it goes on to talk about Eve and the mythology of Eve. Eve dwelled in the original paradise, the Garden of Eden. I've got the golden age coming in here. She is the mother of knowledge. From knowledge, wisdom can be developed. Wisdom is the egg of Sophia, the divine feminine power to be a birth mother of higher consciousness, to bring forth the light of loving awareness. Eve's oracle is not an omen of being cast out of paradise. It is a sign that a false view, which has been holding you captive, is going to give way to a greater understanding which will empower you to be a bearer of the light. A priestess or priest of the egg of Sophia. This oracle encourages you to seek the knowledge you need to not be held captive by secrets or misinformation and to know that from that knowledge you will be able to shed false views like a snake shedding its skin and grow in wisdom. You will know what you need to know, K-N-O-W, and find your way in truth. This is absolutely beautiful. And then we have three cards from this deck. This is the white light oracle. 
So if we go to the Rasuli deck and the first message is to cherish every moment and let spirit carry you forward. So this is the active intelligence that we're speaking of, the spirit that runs through you, that moves you, the spirit that fuses, okay? And what that calls for is your spiritual truth. The, again, it's all coming back to the same thing, that inner voice. What does the inner voice say? And to let that move you. Because what that will do is that will slowly dissolve the should, the obligation, the burden, the moral, morality. <clears throat> and then after that, comes the sting from the thorn of speaking the truth, which may or may not happen. And there's a sting even in the beauty, is what I get here. There's a sting even in the beauty. Pain can be an awakening call. We might call this a trigger moment. That's, that's the moment to pay attention and to go within. That's the moment a part of your story is waking up, becoming active, ready to be understood maybe and met in a different way, which helps it to integrate into the experience so the experience can be collapsed. Oh, this is stunning. I get uh, like a crystalline. We need to come up with a new word for kingdom, but it's a crystalline kingdom, not even queendom, sanctuary. Um, what I can see in here is archways and temples built from crystal. And it feels Lemurian, deeply sensitive, feminine. Way of of moving the field. Moments are life's blossoming buds. There's a great deal of wisdom in that. And what that will, uh, will help to do is to, so when, so when we recognize each moment, then we let go of the over there, the destination addiction of what comes next. Well, you're here now, so be here now. Because in the here now, something is opening up, something is blossoming, okay? Well, something may be simultaneously with us on the vine as it needs to. It's about balance. Hmm. So heart work is going to be particularly gorgeous. Um, I've done a lot of, it's only Tuesday, I've done a lot of heart work with clients this week and it's just stunning. And so the underlying card from this deck seems to again be speaking to this Sedna alignment that's happening. Sedna's only, only just gone into Gemini, so she's sitting at zero degrees of Gemini um, and really helping to, it seems, really helping to wrap up this old Piscean age of the magic being trapped within, helping us to birth it from the deep, deep depths of the soul. And so we have Sacred Scar coming in on that intuitive 11, coming in on that gateway. Your inner and outer scars are marks of your soul's courage. 
They are signs of strength and survival of your willingness to be alive. The sacred scar speaks of that which once caused pain, being transformed into higher knowledge and inner power. Trauma being transformed through spiritual initiation, leading you from woundedness to wisdom. You have nothing to be ashamed of. You can trust your healing process and in the hidden higher purpose behind things happening as they do. You are strong and you will flourish on all levels. Some experiences are hard to weather. Even when our intention is to trust, going through a challenge time, sorry, is to trust. Going through a challenging time is likely to give rise to suffering. Consider the mother eagle raising her precious eaglets in the sanctuary of a meticulously padded and fiercely defended nest. They know safety and comfort until one day the mother who provided unceasing nurturance abruptly pushes them out of the nest and into the air. <laughs> she knows this is how they will learn that they can fly. Massive amount of trust. For the eaglet, there is not yet any such knowledge, disoriented and disturbed, but eventually innate instinct takes, overtakes confusion, and those brave little eaglets begin to flap their fledgling wings during the plummet from the nest. They have learned the purpose of the tough lesson and growth. The trauma of disruption became their initiation into power. You don't have to enjoy the process of growth, but you can always trust it has your best interests at heart. Do not confuse negative, especially traumatic experiences as something spirit has inflicted upon you. This is the victim wound, the martyr wound. Spirit would love your growth to happen in the most joyful and peaceful ways possible. As your relationship to spirit heals and strengthens, this can be the way you grow more often than not. Okay. The greatest struggles are pathways to potential. So disoriented and disturbed. <laughs> there might be energies to look out for. Disoriented and disturbed. Um, and the choice of making a brand new decision based on a brand new thought and feeling. Or cleaving to the old. It's just a choice. No right or wrong. It's just a choice. But know that the choice is yours. Always. The choice is yours. Okay, that's beautiful. So, and that was quick. Ooh. Never seen this card before. So this, goodness me. And again. This is interesting. This is like, a, I've never seen this before. So this is like old, it feels old sacred methods, let's say. Old sacred methods. So we have Egyptology. And this looks like, let's call it Glastonbury Tor. So old earth magic. 
But this is like the curtain. This is like a curtain going back. And this is this like there's nothing in here. It hasn't it hasn't yet been built. It's being built by the priestesses. There's something new here. It's very beautiful. Seeding the light, laying foundations, the divine plan. And there's this uh, almost kind of doing it undercover, kind of almost hidden from these old energies that now feel quite pushy. Certainly the Egypt energies coming in at the moment, um, well, I think there's going to be big revelations there, and that's all I'll say at the moment, because they're shifting. And there's like this, this message here of kind of let that continue and focus and do your own thing. Let that continue because that might pull you into some other spiral of creation, let's say. This is it is, it's just like cloak yourself and do your work. It's beautiful, quiet, modest. And the card I haven't seen before is this, Emrama. Where are you being called to journey to? You. And if I ask you that again directly, where are you being called to journey to? What's the first thing that comes for you? And a helicopter comes in. Okay. And I'm going to finish off with a deck I have not used for yonks, which is this. I've proper got my feminine on today. It feels uber feminine. And we're going to wrap this up. What this gives me actually is a shift in time, time space shift, which might speak to why I've been like, <laughs> this weird face shifting going on this morning. And I'm like, I'm hungry, I'm a thirsty. And then it will shift again. I'm going to read for this one an adjustment, looking back, moving forward. So this is letting the past go. It's like a just a conscious decision to not linger. I'm curious about that. Yeah, it's basically the same message about making decisions based on the pause, coming from that inner pause. It's, 
it's really to tune in to that inner knowing and the underlying energy is telepathy. Look at this again. There is something truly divine. It feels like a divine matrix coming in. Transmission, perception, communication coming in on that 22-4. Architect energy. Wow, really tuning in, really, really tuning in. Okay. I'm going to wrap up with an abundance card. I'm going to wrap up with an abundance card. Yeah, that's beautiful. I'm a bit speechless. Um, okay, I'm going to leave you uh, with my love. And thank you all for being here. And I will see you all again soon. That's it. Okay, happy journeying. Take care.